Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Time right now is 616 on this Wednesday morning. And if you were hoping for some snow, I know we were. Well, we got it. Yeah, so You're we're welcome. happy. How about that for a turnaround time? <laughs> yeah, <huh>? that's good. <laughs> and it wasn't a lot of snow that came through last night, just a couple of inches, which I know is enough to make some roads slick, but it's also easy to clean up in time. Uh, for most people to hit the road. This is what it looks like on Merchants Row in downtown Rutland. In the past couple of minutes, we actually saw a plow come through. That's why you can see the snow is freshly pushed off to the side and the sidewalk clear at this time. So getting set for our Wednesday morning there in the city of Rutland. Not a lot of snow left on Storm Tracker. Most of what fell happened around 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, but we still have some lingering snow showers in the Champlain Valley and especially in the Green Mountains. So in terms of what it looks like on 89 in Colchester, the snow mostly done falling here, but still a light covering right by exit 16. And you can see a little more snow on the passing lane there. So, you know, in the next couple of hours, it may be a bit dicey in spots, but conditions will continue to improve. Still snowing in the central Green Mountains, and I know it looks like not much is happening in southern Vermont. But we can check out the road cameras in the mountains there. 103 Mount Holly, snow on the road and a little bit more coming down at this hour. The other thing you'll notice as you're stepping out the door, the cold air that's come in. 8 in Saranac Lake, 16 in Plattsburgh and Burlington, still 21 in Lebanon, but we've got a breezy northwest wind picking up. And that will only keep temperatures in the mid-20s this afternoon brings the wind chills down into the single digits and teens. So quite a bit colder than the past couple of days, but we will brighten the sky up as we head towards the afternoon. I think right around Jay Peak, it snows for most of the day, but better chances for sun the farther south you go. And most of us should start off with a brighter sky early tomorrow morning, with the exception of the Northeast Kingdom and part of the Adirondack Park. Although on Thursday, clouds will increase for everybody ahead of our next system, and that comes in late Thursday evening, and it snows overnight into early Friday morning. So there's a good chance this time, 48 hours from now, we're dealing with very similar conditions, and this snow has a little more staying power. Looks like it snows in the mountains for most of Friday. And it's a widespread 2 to 4 inches across the region by Friday morning thinking more like four to eight in the north country and along the spine of the Green Mountains. So a bit more snow in play for the end of the work week. We'll watch that closely impact weather on Friday. President's Day weekend, a big deal for our region, especially with the ski resorts right now looking dry and seasonable with more sun by President's Day itself. Back to you. Ben,